Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with another Total War Warhammer video. We're carrying on with the Slanesh theme today, with a rather small minor mod that has a lot of potential. This is the Cult of Pleasure Roster Overhaul. A mod which does a number of things. Firstly, it removes a number of units from the Dark Elf roster for the Cult of Pleasure faction. Secondly, it adds various units from the Warriors of Chaos and Norska rosters into this faction. And lastly, this mod adds in a bunch of new thematic units to fully flesh out the roster. Old school Warhammer Fantasy fans, especially those who played around the time of 6th edition during the Storm of Chaos campaign, will notice similarities between the now revamped Cult of Pleasure and Morathi's old school Cult of Slanesh army. Admittedly, this is long retcon lore, but very thematic and fits rather nicely with Morafi. This is also an army I played way back in the day, and to be honest it's giving me a sense of nostalgia. Especially since I have been a long advocate for special sub-factions in Total War Warhammer, and it's great to see modders taking such an initiative. So let's just jump into the campaign map. Please bear in mind, as always, I will be starting a fresh campaign on easy mode and easy battles, so I can show any possible mechanics and other details as quickly as possible. Before we begin, I don't normally do this, but I wanted to promote tonight's livestream because it's rather special. I and a few fellow content creator friends will be playing Vermintide 2. The guests are as follows. Super Anchors, the voice of Rogel Dawn in If the Emperor Had Text to Speech, Colonel Damders and Noob Nafe will be up and running live on my channel at 8pm UK time. I hope to see you guys there. Beginning a fresh new campaign, you'll notice that a lot of the stuff is still very much Dark Elven. In truth, there are no new mechanics, no new rights, research or anything like that. But it is important to note that this mod is fairly ish new. What the developer has planned for it, we don't know just yet, but there is a lot of potential here. I know this doesn't sound too encouraging, but bear with me just a few moments. It's instead when we go to our construction section that we'll notice all the changes. Some baseline Dark Elf units, buildings and so on have been removed. These are normally units that are associated with other factions within the Dark Elf roster. For example, no more Black Guard of Nargorond as they're more associated with Malekith, and no Harganeth Executioners as they're closely associated with the Crone Queen Helebron. Obviously, losing units such as these can be a massive hit to the Dark Elf roster, but don't worry, there are some units that come in to supplement it. As you notice when you begin construction of your settlements, a few new buildings have been added into your roster. These vary in different ways, but serve to either first allow you to recruit units, some units from the Warriors of Chaos and Norska roster, or even some uniquely created units. While other buildings are more administrative, where they will serve to spread Chaos Corruption and increase your public order. Spreading Chaos Corruption can be a valuable asset when playing as the Cult of Pleasure, especially if you're fighting against many other Dark Elf factions or you're launching a full-scale invasion of Ulf One. Having a few extra units of varying styles does help this faction quite a lot. You've lost a lot of heavy armor and heavy hitters, so this kinda rounds off the faction as much as possible. We'll be comparing the current Dark Elf army with the new modded Cult of Pleasure mod in just a few short moments, but I want to take the time to state right now whilst we go over the buildings, which by the way, pause as you wish if you want to check out any stats that you may find of interest, but the main thing I want to go over is it's important to note that this is a unit overhaul mod, and not a complete overhaul itself. There is a lot of potential with this mod, I think the mod is doing very very well, and in truth it's probably one of the last, if not the last mod, which dedicates itself to the Cult of Pleasure, being very similar to the Cult of Slanesh. Don't get me wrong, this is a rather enjoyable mod, and it does pair up with a sub-mod for SFO. However, if the modder decided to jump into it a little bit into more detail, this has the potential to truly be a fantastic mod. Change a few faction mechanics, update the research tree, and it's pretty much all good to go. In a perfect world, the modder would also team up with someone who knows how to 3D model, in an effort to bring in a Keeper of Secrets and Saneshi Demonets. Seeing as it looks like we might have to wait some time until Total War Warhammer 3. Now, with that being said, what's on screen right now is the standard Dark Elf roster for Total War Warhammer 2, as from the time of recording this video. As you can see, everything is pretty well rounded. Heavily armoured high tier infantry, fast cav, powerful armour piercing crossbows, a strong emphasis on magic, monsters and so on. 
Everything you can expect from a typical Dark Elf roster, of course. But now, since the Cult of Pleasure is losing out on a fair amount of these units, how do they compare? In all honesty, the modded roster for the Cult of Pleasure compares rather well. Yes, you've lost some of your heavy hitters, but it's being supplemented with some baseline units from both the Warriors of Chaos and Norska. They might not be high tier units for both respective factions, but when comparing them to, for example, the Blackguard, they do compare quite nicely. Obviously, if you're used to playing the Dark Elves in Total War Warhammer 2, you will have to change your playstyle ever so slightly to match up with the new units and the loss of the others. Lord and hero choices remain unchanged, which I think is a missed opportunity here. They could have added in some Chaos and Norskan ones just to flesh out the roster a little bit better in terms of diversity. What I'm doing right now at an increased speed is adding in all the new units added to the Cult of Pleasure. There is a fair amount of new stuff. Please bear in mind, as far as I've seen, the stats for anything from the Warriors of Chaos, Norska, and the Random Salamanders seem to be the same as from their own respective original factions, with the completely new units being created by the modder in an effort to have some new unit variety. Now, we're going to look over all the units from other races and factions already established in-game and how they look as part of the Cult of Pleasure. Since many people are already familiar with these units, there's no point showing off their stats. I just wanted to show off how they look visually. Obviously, since the Cult of Pleasure has now been changed to be more of a Suneshi cult, all these warriors are themselves going to be very Suneshi themed. There are heavy uses of the colour pink here, which makes sense thematically. Honestly, the only thing that confuses me about these units is the inclusion of salamanders. I think it's a very odd choice for this army list, but maybe the modder has a personal preference. And lastly, we'll look over the custom new units. Please bear in mind there is a unit of Doomfire Warlocks in here. No, this isn't a mistake, this is actually a new version of them created by the modder, which is a recruitable unit despite the fact that it says that it's a regiment of renown. The same could be said about the Chaos Mirror Guard, but the reason why I'm including them here is because they used to be a regiment of renown, and they didn't have a great weapon variant, but in this mod they are a standard troop choice. The stats will be showing on screen as we look over each of the different units, so if you need a longer look at the stats, I do advise pausing the video and just checking over what you want to see. We will be going at a faster speed than normal, but I just want to give my final thoughts on this mod. The Cult of Pleasure roster overhaul mod is fairly small, but as I've stated before, it has a lot of potential, and I hope that the modder in question does intend to further support this mod. We need something in the sense of this for a sub-faction for the Cult of Pleasure. Like I said at the bare minimum, research, faction mechanics, and you're pretty much good to go. That being said, it's not like the modder himself didn't do a half assed job. The so-called unique units are fairly well balanced and do look quite well. I'm not sure if this modder is very new to the scene or not, but the effort is done very well, and it has a lot of potential to be one of those great mods that you see on the front page of the Steam Workshop. Do I recommend this mod? Well, yes and no. Yes, if you want to have a new experience with the Dark Elves, and want something in a more Suneshi style. If you're a fan of old school Warhammer tabletop, or very old school lore which has long been retconned, then this might be an interesting mod for you. Sure, it's not the most competitive armies and so on, but it's still very possible for you to do some damage. However, if you're expecting loads of unique mechanics and so on, I'd say not just yet. This is very dependent on whether the modder himself wishes to expand upon this mod, or just keep it as a unit overhaul. I've always been a big fan of sub-faction mods, and I hope that this continues to grow. As always, the link to this mod, if you want to check it out yourself, will be in the description below. But with that, my friends, we come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel, as it really does help us out. In the description section below are various different social media links, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Discord, where you can get in contact with a great book team. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games, where you could buy loads of hobby-based products, not just Warhammer, for 10-25% to off. Using our special link and also our special code, both of which can be found in our description, supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to a higher level of content. A special thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Pence and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool.
And a big thank you to Edward Huell and VS Vasan for subscribing to us at our fame level. Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough for the support. It really means a lot to me, especially since all the money earned from Patreon goes directly back onto the channel. New webcam, equipment, microphones, and so on. And a big thank you to all of you liking, sharing, commenting on these videos. Honestly, I'm really enjoying creating this content and chatting to all of you guys about speculation, new content, and so on. It's absolutely awesome. It's been nice to make a few friends along the way. But with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and I shall see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.